Hello, I've come on today to share a package that I got from someone on Instagram. And I've noticed a lot of um, unboxings and um, hauls shared with, um, shared that are from, you know, Etsy and, you know, Amazon, Michaels, you know, your stores that you can actually go into if you have a mask on. Um, but I have been doing more um, shopping online. I am trying hard, you know, to be responsible and stay at home as much as I can, and um, which is really no big deal for me. I'm used to being at home a lot. So, and there's no shortage of things to buy on the internet. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, I hadn't seen a lot of people sharing packages or you know orders um, for supplies on from Instagram um, and unfortunately before I started this I didn't think to get her um, her name her Instagram address so I will have that I'll, I'll put it on the screen up here you know, scroll it and put it in the description box down below. Yeah, so let's get started opening this up. Um, I really can't remember what's in here, but I love the little, um, the tape washi that she put on, the little sloths, aren't they cute? Yeah, that's what I feel like most of the time is a sloth. So let's cut this open and See what's inside. See what I couldn't live without. I also will be showing, I've got a couple of ideas for videos coming up. I haven't done any in quite a while. Oh. Awesome. Um, but what I was gonna say was, I haven't done any in a while. With this COVID thing um, has been, you know, everybody's life has been crazy. And we've also had two girls to get off to college this year, which has been a fiasco. Um, in and of itself, we've adopted a puppy. My younger daughter got a new puppy back in hmm, March or April cute little thing named Adeline. We call her Addie. And then my oldest daughter just got adopted a dog Monday from a shelter um, where she goes to school. And his name is Cal. And he's so cute. But it's so funny because my youngest daughter's dog, her puppy, is teeny tiny. And then the one that my older daughter got is huge. You know, he's a big boy. So... It'll be funny to see them get together. Maybe I'll do some videos, shares of those two together. And to top it all off, we have a cat, a huge cat named Heidi. We lost her sister earlier this year. Well, about a month and a half ago. And um, they are 12. They're, they're older girls. So anyway, neither one of them were um, excited about little Addie coming into the house. Uh, so that was a little stressful for them and it's so cute because it's like she wants to go play with them and they just want no part of it so then Isabel the our one cat um, passed away and so now we just have Heidi and I can't wait to see her reaction when she hates Addie by the way hates that dog so I can't wait to see the reaction of um, the big boy Cal when he comes in and, and see how she does. So anyway, okay, cute little, um, this is, okay, here's her information right here. Winnie J's Vintage, that's her, her card. Isn't that cute? And it's on Instagram, Winnie J's Vintage. Her name is Winnie Ramey. Vintage finds, vintage crafts, and more. She has a lot of, lots of cool, um, things but when you buy um make purchases on instagram you just use simply use paypal i think most of the um, people that sell from instagram that's how it's done and it's very very simple very easy to do yeah 
they'll um, send you an invoice with your, um, now you do yourself have to have a PayPal account and that's very easily set up, but um, they'll send you an invoice to your email and then, um, and to PayPal. Anyway, it's, it's really easy to take care of. In fact, it's too easy, I have to say. <laughs> oh, too much good stuff. These are probably little thank yous. Look, little train card, playing card. That's cool. That would look great in a travel journal. And then, uh, um, yeah, what is that? Flashcard, <laughs> math flashcard. So that's awesome. All right, let's see. This is open, so let's go ahead and look at this. I'll pop these over here on the side. This is a, um, a vintage memory game. And I don't know if the year is on here, but this is one older than the one that I had as a kid, you know, growing up. Anyway, I was so excited because um, I would love to make a book out of the box, you know, itself. Wow, old memory game as is, okay. Great um, cover images. Oh my gosh. Look at the pictures. Oh, look, I made a match. <laughs> Strawberries. I just, yeah, the images are so cute and remind me of when um, I was little, you know, in picture books, like from maybe the 50s and 60s, 70s maybe. I don't know. Cardinal. Oh, look at the little fox. Okay, now these pieces are thick. So, you know, if thickness isn't an issue in your particular book, that's fine. You could use it, you know, as a little, um, say, I don't know, let me grab a book here. Let's pretend this is a book. You know, you could put it down here in the corner as a, you know, tuck spot, just glue on um, the two sides. Or, what I was thinking is you can peel these since they're chipboard, you could peel them apart and make it quite a bit thinner. You know, you just have to be very um, careful about what you're doing and get some of that bulk out, get rid of it. Oh yeah, see? And then you just peel it and then you have, you know, something almost like a sticker to use for embellishments. These would be so cute in clusters Oh, look at the butterfly. They're very, the images are quite artsy anyway. You know, make, um, anyway, yeah. Oh, I want to look at all of them right this second, but I'm not. Um, yeah, any kind of little embellishments. You, know, you could use these for on ATCs. Oh, they're so cute. They, they uh, might be the same size as like a Twinchy. You know, the two-inch square pieces. Oh, look at the owls. <laughs> that look on his face. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Too much fun. Let's put this away. I'm loving this. Let's see. Uh, I was looking to see if I had an invoice. I'm sure there's probably one in here somewhere. All right. So, cool memory game. Leave her card out where I can see it. All right, let's open this package up. It's so much fun though when you um you know order, and then you can't remember what you ordered. <laughs> Usually I can, but sometimes I just want that tape. To, yeah, there we go. Let loose. Oops. Moved everything. Oh, she's got it red sealed. Okay. Now, I do um, save some of these bubble mailers to um, reuse for, you know, packaging for when I'm sending things out as uh, padding. 
you know, because it does have the, the bubbles on the inside. And, uh, or, you know, you could seal it, uh, put your, something you're mailing back in, seal it back up, tape it, staple it, whatever, and cover this with a uh, index card or something like that, and cover this with, you know, a smaller piece with the return address and reuse it. Okay, so I got some little golden books. This one is over in the meadow. This one is from 1963. This would be cute. I want to do um, some farm theme books, some spring books, and I, I might just do some animal things. I've got a lot of cat books, cat and dog little golden books. Aren't they cute? Jump in row. Anyway, that's an excellent shape on the inside. Okay, over in the meadow. And then, um, yeah, Bow Wow Meow, first book of sounds. This one I had never seen before, but I knew it was um, vintage because this is the background that I remember the most from growing up and love that. I remember looking at, all, you know, loving to look at all the little characters back here. My first book of sounds. Yep, fifth printing was 72. Mm -hmm. I was born in 69, so, yeah. How does the kitty go? Meow, how does the doggy go? Bow wow. Mm. Look at these little images. See, they're, this is perfect for a farm. I could cut this off and save that for travel. You know, travel journal. How does the car go? Beep, beep. The train could be cute in a travel or around the town type um, theme. Adorable. Oh, my stars. Look, I did not know that was there. It has um, huh, a pocket in it on the back cover and a library card. And it says, it looks like Rogier family. I wonder, they probably maybe donated it to a library or a classroom library, you know, or a public library maybe. Oh my goodness, that's just made my day right there. Didn't know that was in there. All right. Then I got, I thought there was an, okay, there are animals too. Let's do these. Okay, Saggy Baggy Elephant. I don't think I have this book. I think this one's not quite as old. It has a barcode on it. This says 74 maybe. It might even be later than that, but I've never, I don't think I have the Saggy Baggy Elephant. But I'm thinking about doing a jungle theme journal or two. So that's why I picked that one up. Then, Goodnight Little Bear, that has a barcode, so this isn't quite that old either, but the images are still just as cute as if it was ancient. <laughs> Copyright 61, I don't know, but it's the same images. I see this book right here. Can you see it? Let's see. Where's my finger? There it is. It's called um, 365 Stories. The the, uh, what does that say? The Golden Book of 365 Stories. I have always loved books, like always. And my, I think my parents got me this book when I was in middle school, maybe. And um, just, you know, it's like a nostalgic thing. It brought back so many memories. Well, don't you know, I got rid of that, All right? Wish I knew then what I know now, I would have kept it. Oh, so cute, the little owl. Beautiful, beautiful images. Look, the rabbits. Looks like a Peter Rabbit book. I need to do another Peter Rabbit journal. The one I did um, was so, it was so much fun to make. But it's gone to its forever home. Okay, this one is Let's Go Trucks. And I, 
I want to do um, some journals with transportation themes and travel themes. So I thought this might be a nice one to have. This is from 73, it says. I'm having a hard time keeping on. Look, all these different vehicles. Ah, that'd be good for farm, even. And I've collected enough now, I'm not so reluctant to cut these up and, you know, tear them, tear them open, not tear them open, to deconstruct the book and actually use images, you know, cut out the um, pages and, no, to cut out the images that I need uh, or would like to put on embellishments or in a book, you know, journal. Um, yeah, not so timid about it. But when I only had a few, that was hard to do. So those are awesome. And he, what's fun about the the Instagram shopping is that you never know what's gonna be there. Um, it's kind of a hit and miss thing. And you just have to, you know, the more you check back, obviously the better the chance of you finding something you're looking for before it gets sold. You just never know. Oh, oh. Okay, my favorite toy growing up, if you want to call it a toy, was coloring book and crayons. I would pass on the newest, latest, shiny thing with bells and whistles and whatever to get a coloring book and a new box of Crayola crayons. And they needed to be Crayola. They smelled the best. <laughs> And they weren't the best. They had the, the best, um, you know, they, they just worked really good. You know, some of the crayons came out very light and just the wax was weird. I don't know. Anyway, Crayola was the best. And, um, yeah, as long as I had a color book and crayons, I was a happy girl. So, I found these vintage um, coloring books and you know, Farmer, Nature to Color, and Peter Rabbit Coloring Book. Can't go wrong there. And I love it that some of these have been colored. That's absolutely adorable. Let's pull that over there. Oh, it's got the storylines at the bottom. I was looking to see when this was made, but it doesn't say. Oh, there's a hole at the top of each, um, of each page right there. I guess you could have, it was hanging up probably um, in the store. Great, great images. Yes, this is gonna go in some journals. Here's the Skitter Cat family. <laughs> oh, so cute. Wow, most of these have not been colored. So, oh, there's one. <laughs> Just some little scribbles here and there, but for the most part, those are unused. Love it. And this uh, cover would make a fabulous um, journal cover. You know, put it on, mount it on some cardstock or chipboard. That would be phenomenal, I think. Okay, loving that. Then this is the nature book to color. Let's just flip through really quick. Oh, all kinds of great animal images. Bats, see, could you look, fruit. I want to do some cooking journal, uh, yeah. Junk journals, foods and animals. And this one has not been touched, wow. So, this, mm, the date might be down here, but I can't read it. Yeah, don't know, doesn't matter. All right, this one, little farmer's coloring book. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Look at the little guys here, too. Ah, this one is from 19, I don't know if you can see, 1975. And that would have been about the time I would be coloring the age, about six. Well, probably I was coloring way before that, but yeah, definitely coloring here. 
Okay, this one's been loved on a little bit. Huh? But I just, I love knowing that some little kid had this and enjoyed spending time being creative <laughs> in it. I always like to, when you, we used to always sign our names somewhere at the top or at the bottom. And sometimes in our coloring books, we would like, we'd have a contest, me and my friend, Meredith. She lived across the street from me and we would color and see who could color the neatest, which was usually me, and then who could do the craziest job, like, you know, you'd color the faces purple or green, and, you know, the pig might be orange and or blue, and color the water um, red. Oh, no, that'd be kind of like blood, no. Color the water orange, yeah. You know, little things like that, and whoever colored there's the craziest one, and she usually got that. She was creative in that way, but we'd sign our names to it, and then I also, I saved all of my crayons, so I had old cigar boxes from my granddad. I had a couple of those, and used to your school box, school supply boxes were that kind of shape and made out of made the same way like cigar boxes they're really cool okay so this is my haul from an instagram account or an instagram seller got some cool vintage coloring books and some great uh little golden books prices were very reasonable very good and a neat um, memory matching game. Can't wait, I was so excited about this. Yeah, I can't wait to um, use some of these. Oh, there's Petunia. There's a book um, called Petunia about the, a goose, oops, named Petunia. Yeah, I just found it um, about six months ago in a used bookstore and picked it up. That was one of my favorite kid books. It was one of the first big books I realized I could read, you know, really. So, anyway, go by and check out, um, if you use Instagram, go check out um, Winnie J's Vintage. She's got some really, really cool stuff and great prizes. I'm sure she'd love to see you. So, see y'all again with some new videos. Bye.